What is going on, my fellow gamers? It's Aviticus Dragon here. I am playing a new game called Endless Space, and the uh, with the Disharmony uh, expansion pack. Uh, this is a game made by Amplitude Studios. Um, I'm not really sure if it's an independent, uh, independently developed game, um, or if they had a publisher or not. But um, someone suggested that I should check this game out, and after further review of the game, it looked pretty interesting to me. Um, it kind of, it's like a 4x strategy game that's turn-based. Um, it kind of reminds me of Galactic Civilization. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the last game, I believe, pretty sure it was Galactic Civilization, that uh, the last game that I actually played. Um, I'm not very good at these games. I guess I, in a sense I am, I'm good at strategy, but um, this one seems to be new and updated. It seems like it has a lot of features in it. Um, so I'm probably going to need your guys' help um, as I play it um, with any tips that you have if you do play this game. Um, and that'll really help me out. But we're going to play a game of it and uh, see how we like it. So, uh, let's see here. I think I configured all of the options that I needed. Um, so that should be good. I'm going to do a new game. And... Uh, yeah, I was fooling around with the characters uh, before I started here, but with a new game, let's see, we have the ability to change the galaxy shape. So we could do like a uh, ovoid, um, disc, spiral, uh, twin elliptical. I mean, I have no idea how this changes, but that's pretty cool. Let's go with uh, a spiral galaxy with eight arms. Oh, let's just keep it twin elliptical. That sounds good. Um, yeah, we're going to have eight empires. Might as well. Now, I'm not going to do a huge system because that could take forever. Um, let's see. 80 star systems scattered in a 111 parsec galaxy. Let's just do medium. Um, that way we have more interaction with the empires. Uh, age. What does this do? The galaxy will have more younger, hotter stars. Older, cooler stars. i just do normal for age, I guess. So this is where I could pick uh, the factions. There's all kinds of unique factions in this game. Um, I really, I did go through and just kind of take a look at the settings ahead of time, so that I didn't spend you know 15 minutes looking through each one of these um, during this play. But uh, you know, United Empire. There's some traits on the right hand side that um, it tells you what they're good at. So they have they're like fearless warriors. It gives them plus 25 defense per uh, I think that's a person or population un uh, icon on the system uh, so then we have cavers or cravers um, these guys are good at big fleets uh, knowledge gathering uh, machine uh, machinery Uh, let's see, these guys are good at building Harmony. This is the new uh, faction that uh, was added into the DLC. Xenobotany. Um, Sheridan. Automations. There's so many different factions, guys. Uh, you could play like 15 games before you... Uh, or uh, at least 10 or so before you uh, go through them all but the one that that I liked the most so far is uh, Hisho or Hisho um, I think it's Hisho actually um, but these guys are good with deadly weapons uh, masters of destruction death before dishonor 
um, which increases XP in battle. Um, these guys are just made for war, and uh, their alignment type is evil. That sounds kind of like something I would do. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to play as them. Now you can add a... I mean, you can add your own faction and create your own stuff in here. I didn't really look at this too much because it just looks so crazy. I mean, you could spend literally hours, guys, just coming up with factions and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, so I'm going to play as his, uh, his show. And <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and hit, hit accept there. Now settings, let's see, difficulty. Uh, I'm going to play a normal because all these 4x strategy games always kick my ass. Galactic Civilizations, it, it just destroyed me and it was on like a really easy difficulty. Um, I'm going to do normal for game speed. Let's go take a look at advanced. Okay, so it looks like we've got all these different victories here. Um, expansion victory. By conquering and colonizing a maximum of planets and systems, your empire uh, can become all-powerful. Uh, so once you gain 75% of all systems, the galaxy is yours. So I like that. Um, we'll keep that victory. Economic victory. Um, let's see. Once you have enough money or dust. I guess dust is the... Uh, currency um, I don't know if I want to do that because I never really have a lot of money I want to pick victories that I might be able to win not necessarily straight up uh, conquest but um, score victory uh, that's after a fixed number of turns uh, it just picks a winner based on uh, military, science, and economy. I don't think I want to do that. Supremacy, definitely. Um, you'll win this victory when you have invaded the starting systems of all other factions. That sounds good. I, I want to do... I think I'm going to do expansion victory and supremacy victory. Wonder Victory, um, I don't know about these too much. I'm never really good at building stuff. <laughs> I'm more like fighting. <laughs> uh, pirate Difficulty, Normal. Uh, You must unlock the Xeno diplomatic technology required before you can trade technologies. Oh, yeah. Ambience galaxy map. Exploration events, mini. Sounds good. Alright. I think that sounds good. So then, here's me. Um, game speed normal, game single game only. Um, oh, sweet. You can invite friends to play as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so let's start this game up. What we call barbaric ritual, the Hisho call noble tradition. What we call brutal, they call just. What we call slaughter, they call glory. The Hisho have an obsession with blood, whether offering their own or sacrificing an enemy. And whether they rule the galaxy and demand tribute from lesser nations, or die in the effort to do so, they will consider their crusade successful. For their traditions demand either your blood or theirs. 
Nice. I like that intro. Okay. Let me just change the uh, music here. Audio. Yeah, music volume. What the hell? Uh, I forgot to apply it, I guess. Just lower it just a tad. Okay, so here's our system. Um, let's take a look at these events here. Disharmony. So Harmony is coming to attack, basically. Um, interesting. Okay. Hero update. Serena Tora. Hero update. Slava Smirov. Manny Dar Omnis, another hero. Okay. Let's take a look at this stuff here. Alright, so this is Empire Management. Looks like I can change the tax rate. Oh, this is cool. This is my food surplus. Um, this is the amount generated on the system. Industry, science, and dust. Currency is called dust. Okay. Alright. This is my research area. Nice. Holy shit. Look at all this. Oh my god. 10,000 turns to get there? I mean, I'm sure that, that decreases when you have more towns, but man. Haha. <laughs> Uh, more star systems, I mean. Okay, this is my military view. I've got alpha and beta teams. We've got uh, available ship designs. Oh. Oh, this is cool. I can make my own ships. Yeah, that was one of the features that I liked about this game. We'll get into that later. Let's uh, Let me close this out. What else we have? Okay, these are my heroes. Oh, heroes for hire down here. So I can hire this guy for 20 dust. I don't even have 20 yet. Let me inspect him. Okay, this guy is a commander and administrator. He'd probably be good administering a planet or something. This guy's a commander and pilot. Commander and adventurer. Oh, shit. This tells you what um, options they unlock, I guess. Uh, interesting. Hero, hero class adventurer. This is pretty cool. I like this. Um, Alright. I love how the information is displayed in the game. It's so clean. Like, it feels really clean. Like, there's just not a lot of clutter everywhere. I like that. Alright. Commander and Administrator. This guy is probably good at... Um, yeah, all right. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna hire an administrator, actually. Uh, but not yet. I can't hire him yet. Can I hire it? No, I can't. Okay, I'll come back to that. Um. Okay, so this is basically my planet that's colonized here, and then I've got all these other planets uh, in the same system. 
I guess this would be considered a system. Um, wow, I like these graphics. Exploitation options. Takes three turns, costs 50 industry. Hmm. I assume what this does is give me more of of food, more of dust, and more of uh, yeah. Okay, so you can actually uh, exploit the civilians, I guess, and uh, increase your production rate. Um. Is this how I build ships? What's this nest ship? I assume a nest ship is how you deploy to new colonies, so I'm going to start building these things. I guess this is where you can deploy, uh, develop new system technologies. Okay, so this says I can't colonize these, but why? Oh, I'm missing the technology sustainability. So if I look at the research tab and sustainability. <laughs> that is so awesome. Look, there's a quick find. Sustain. Three matches. Locate. There it is right there. They thought of everything in this game. The sustainability. And this tells me... This automatically... Uh, queues up a research item. So where am I right now? I guess I'm... Well, I guess I'm starting off here. Awesome. So I'll just start researching that. And then I should be able to colonize this uh, this planet. Now this one, this one's a little bit different. It needs atmospheric filtration. Shit. That one needs atmospheric filtration. Containment fields. Wow. One at a time, guys. All right. Let's see, uh, everything else looks good. Let's just, uh... Oh. All right, so here's both of my ships, Beta and Alpha. Beta, oh, is already a nest ship. Alpha is a scout. So I'm gonna have my scout click to automatically explore the galaxy. Nice. Discovery of a wonder. Solar farm. Oh, that has got to be awesome right there. We gotta get it. Where is it on? Where? Oh, it's on the. I can't colonize that planet. Shit, what technology do I need? I need to get that thing. Uh, Eden Incense? Oh, Luxury Resource. Tiny lava. Advanced science is needed. Okay, lava. Well, what the hell? Um, let's look at research. God, I'm never going to find out what I need to unlock that. Tiny lava. Let me go back. Let me do it. Search for lava in here. Let 
lava transformation. Graviton manipulation. Holy crap. That's... Oh, yeah, I'm going in the right direction anyway, so... Perfect. Okay. So... I guess I'll send my nest ship somewhere else. Actually, I'll just... Oh. Exploration event. Uh, I got plus 3% experience on Fleet Alpha. Nice. Holy crap. <laughs> I like that. I like zooming out and seeing stars. That's cool. Alright, let's end the turn. Oh, what's this do? Review all fleets without orders. Oh. Nice, that's handy. What is this? Execute all planned moves of your fleets. Nice. I'm gonna send my nest ship over here. What the hell? Let's see, how much... I'm getting plus four dust a turn. That's pretty good. Content approval is 50%, so people are... Okay with me. Oh. Your current construction... Is, uh... Freezing the growth of your system. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. But I gotta build stuff, I gotta expand. End of auto explorer mode. Plus 40% research on Empire, nice. Alright, so this guy has reached everywhere that he can explore. I don't understand how that's possible. Can he not... Can you go up here? No. Okay, this must be like some sort of... Uh... Something that I need. I need to research something to get through there, probably. And I probably need something even greater to get through there. Uncharted star system. Okay. He can't go up there, so... This is it. Really. Okay. Shit. Alright. Well... This guy's a scout. I guess I'll have him... Intercept enemy fleets leaving the orbit. And blockade this area. I assume people that can research that technology can come at me. They can come at me. Alright, cool. Let's continue on here. Those nest ships are a little slow. Damn, I can't colonize any of this. What do I need to colonize this stuff? Oh, right there, Xenobotany. Colonize Tundra. 3 turns. All right, totally going to get that here in a second. Okay, arid epigenetics. Uh, let's see. Colonize arid. Nice. 
don't have an arid climate there. No arid uh, climates there. I'm gonna research uh, Xenobotany so that I could colonize one of these. Is there anything else around here? Heavy isotope refineries. Wow, I don't know what half this shit does. Oh, colonized desert. That's uh, sustainability. Oh, so the south... Oh, shit. This tells me right here. Everything on the south here is for exploration and expansion. Galactic Warfare is to the north. Um, diplomacy and trading on the left side. Applied Sciences technology. Huh. That's, that's pretty easy to understand. That's awesome. Okay. I've got... Uh, Got another discovery that gave me uh, machinery uh, percentage. Wow, there is three colonizable planets here. Uh, let's see, this one has hollow planet. This gives you plus one, plus one population capacity. Nice. Damn, but this one's a large arid, and this one has, it's going to give me more dust. Oh wait, no, that doesn't matter. Plus six on planet. Alright, cool, so let's colonize this bad boy. Colonize the star system. I'm going to go with this one. Okay, cool. So I've colonized this planet. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna build anything, I'm just gonna let that sit and build up a bit. I've got my main town, or main planet, that uh, I'm building some nest ships on. I'll colonize the other three of those planets as well. And I've got 38 dust. I should probably hire a uh, hero. I think this was the uh, administrator. This guy is good for fleets. This guy, ooh. Adventurer and commander, plus 16% on star system. Damn, I'm gonna hire her. I need more dust. The more dust, the more heroes I can have, I guess. I guess you can only have up to three, though. Um. All right, cool. She's hired. Assigned a fleet or assigned a system? I'm going to assign her to Corvus. That was... I don't know if that was the right choice. Adventurer and commander. But it says she's get adventurer, fearless... Yeah, plus 20 dust. Oh. All 
Oh shit, commander. Battle action. Oh, whatever, it's my first game. Okay. Not much I can do here. Is this done researching or... Oh, one turn. Just like it says up there. Damn, I'm getting nine. Nine dust a turn. That is awesome. She's definitely doing her job. Okay, Xenobotany has been done. Uh, finished researching. So we're going to go down towards... Um, Shit. Which one was it? Uh, I think it was this one, right? Sustainability. Uh, okay, cool. This uh, tells me I have one turn left, I think, on uh, two turns left on my nest ship. Yeah, this is gaining population. Which is good. I definitely want more population there. Uh, that'll give me more dust, I believe. Both of these are coloni colonizable, long season. Uh, minus one on planet. Ooh, that's horrible. Wow, there's actually negatives to colonizing certain planets. Alright, cool. We got a nest ship, uh, ship done. Um, let me, I'm kind of curious about something. If I... If I go over to this planet that I'm building something on, right? Alright, hold on. Uh, there we go. Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah. Industry uh, goes up as you um, lower your tax rate. But not by much, so I'm going to keep it at 40%. That's probably fair. Just to leave it there. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> um, Alright. Oh, I think the nest ship was done, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, we got... Down here in the hangar, we've got uh, the nest ship. So I'm gonna create a fleet. And, uh, let's see... I can't colonize any of those. I'm probably going to come down here and colonize all this stuff. This is a good town, uh, a good system that is, that can be uh, kind of defendable in a sense uh, because there's only one way into it. I love planets like that because uh, if you have to go on the defensive, which I usually have to do, um, <laughs> I uh, find a sit, uh, like a, 
see this has three entry points here but um, as long as I have all my ships in this um, planet uh, you know I can kind of defend it but anyway uh, I'm gonna just send it down here And I'll have to colonize that next time. Guys, let me know what you think about this game. If you like it, uh, I plan to keep on playing it. I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, you know, I love strategy games. It's definitely uh, something that I think a lot of uh, my viewers like watching. So if you are enjoying it, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Take care.